This is a new robotics pick and place solution, but I first want to highlight how we integrate that into our packaging solutions. This is a feed placing application on a pack series HE wrapper pack 403 and we have fully integrated that into our loader. So on this new cookie line, we load handmade cookies, here we have some fakes, into the feeder chain of our wrapper. What is new here? So you see it is full stainless steel frame design on our machine, no hollow bodies, no horizontal surfaces, we have an IP65 sealed cabinet here. So this is ready for foam and rinse applications. Everything underneath the end of arm tool can be cleaned with water. So what you have here is our new UX design user guidance lighting. You see the yellow light blinking here up. This means the downstream rubber is not ready. So this is an intuitive system to operate, to operate the line. And you learn within one day how it works. It's so easy for operators to get in communication with the machine and understand what's going on. This not only tells you what is wrong, but also where it goes wrong. For example, when I open that door, so it immediately starts to blink red light. Huh? Okay, if I don't close it, fully, it would be hard to imagine which door is not opened. So here you see the red blinking light and I know this door I need to close. Okay, that's one of the features. And now let's talk about accessibility. We have these super wide open doors. Best accessibility, easy to access, super head space here. You do not bang your head anymore. Easy to reach. We do have this really narrow frame design here. How did we do that? Okay. We have designed our frame based on the reach of the robot of 1.2 meters. And we want to have full use of this space. So we have built a very narrow frame here, getting wider for the electrical components in here having access for the wrapper chain and a really wide belt here. So this gives us a reduced food footprint of 10%. So we are 20 centimeters less compared to the old machine. So up here you see the, the, the wiring. It's all open, not non-hollow body, I told that. And it's only few wiring. Why is that so? Because all communication on these two machines, the wrapper, and the, the feeder runs over Ethernet connectivity. So we don't have an encoder to, to, to communicate the position of the wrapper chain. It's all digital. And this gives you a very nice integration on the software and hardware side. But also what you see down here, the wrapper chain is fully integrated into our robotics frame. So no additional feeds, it's bolted down to the frame, easy access to the floor, easy to clean again. We run cookies here on that, on that line and we can build stacks of two, we can run single wrap cookies. Uh, we have a vision system here integrated, I come over here. See that over there with top, with top lighting. The vision camera is, is uh, built in up there. We cannot see that here. But we can not only detect the products and, uh, and transfer the position to the robots, we can also do some quality checks with this vision system. It's a color camera. This allows for detecting burnt cookies, for example. It gives you information on the quality of your product and of course we can also detect broken cookies. So this is our new solution for feeding cookies into a wrapper chain but on top of that we can we can also provide 
cookies in trays. So with the additional functionality on the robot, we have built in the capability of having a fifth axis. We use the fourth axis for turning cookies into the right position because we can work from a random product stream. So orientation, rotation, and with the fifth axis, we can also tilt cookies. So these robots with a tray transport can load either cookies flat or on edge, like this, or if you like to, on edge and flat at the same time. I think this is really a big advantage. Customers require more and more flexibility on, it li on that line. And this is the big advantage of robots in, in the cookie business. So now we are at the end. I could tell you many more details about this machine, but unfortunately time is running. So I want to sum up on our RPP platform. We have bringing up the following benefits again. So it's a perfectly integrated solution, seamless integration on controls. We have the vision system, the robots, and all drives of the belt and the transport system running on one IPC. We have this nice user experience design, uh, HMI user interface, giving more information on a very, in a very simple way to our operators, guide them to the right point where they have to interact with the machine, and finally, this hygienic design execution of the machine.